What annoys all men? What are your actions that make your man want to give up everything and leave you? Hi, I'm Lisa Politova, and today I will openly analyze the biggest mistakes that destroy or have already destroyed your relationship. By the way, I'd like to answer one question. How do you usually get what you want from a man? Do you have your favorite manipulation techniques? I give you a couple of seconds to share your methods in the comments, it's very interesting. You may agree that women have always been resourceful when it comes to achieving their personal goals. And among other purely feminine tools of influence on a man, manipulation has always been a controversial and a dangerous technique. For example, I personally saw a friend's relationship fall apart just six months before she was supposed to marry. She followed the advice of her three times divorced mother and openly manipulated her boyfriend to get things exactly the way she wanted them. Small manipulations became the norm. It got to the point where the guy had to cut off contact with the friends she didn't like. Because of the girl's acts, the desire to get married was progressively killed and one month before the wedding, they broke up. Tell me, do you also enjoy these types of games when the woman wins? Then watch this video and I'll explain how your dishonest methods endanger you. At first look, it seems that you should learn NLP and read a ton of books on the art of manipulation and then you're a happy woman with the man of your dreams by your side, and you definitely tuck his strings, he's in love and fulfills all your whims and desires. Everyone seems to be happy, the man is in love and he does everything to ensure your happiness and you are happy. However, things are far from rosy. Manipulation destroys the relationship quickly. And this is not just a buzzword, it's a fact. By manipulating men, you enter a game in which men will treat you the same way. Playing with you, training you and pushing on your weak points. What you radiate is what you get. A man is your mirror. He reflects back your attitude toward him. Your man's behavior will be 100% reflective. It all starts with you. Think about it. Do you really want to attract manipulators into your life? And men who will treat you coldly and train you as much as you do them? I believe you will answer no. Mutual manipulation is a dead end. Such tricks will not lead to a happy, long-term, meaningful relationship. Well, and right now I'm gonna tell you about the manipulations that annoy all men, which will definitely lead you to the destruction of relationship. And if while watching this video you recognize yourself in this type of behavior, then stop doing it immediately and save your relationship before it's too late. And if it's too late to save it, the man has already packed his belongings and left and your heart is broken, then the following information is for you. Look in the upper right corner of the screen. There is something hidden there that will not only help you to heal your heart, but will also help you to return the man you love. And you don't have to do any physical actions. The man will want to return to you himself and will start to take the initiative, even if he doesn't contact you right now. You may wonder how this is possible. For over 15 years, I've studied the power of subconscious mind and the law of attraction. And guess what? I've developed an effective formula with which you can attract men. You can change their opinion about you and their feelings. Click the link in the upper right corner of the screen and sign up for my free masterclass. And now back to manipulations. So let's talk about the manipulations that annoy all men. And manipulation number one is an attempt to create a sense of rivalry. How does this happen? 
You know, my friend's husband gave her a mink fur coat and a diamond ring for her birthday, and my sister's husband, who's so successful and works and has a business, they flew to Bali again with the whole family. Another comments, as if to hook the man, to motivate him, to show him how it should be done, how other men take care of their women. And can you do this? Would you dare? Why doesn't it work, you may ask? Because it doesn't really motivate a person. Comparing him to someone else, you only emphasize your dissatisfaction with your man. And what will a man do if his woman is always unhappy with him? He will leave. He will go to make another woman happy and wish you to meet the one who will give you a fur coat and take you to Bali. Manipulation number two, keeping your man on his toes. This is the most common game, when a woman is trying to awaken a hunter in a man, to make him run after her, to realize how valuable and desirable she is among other men, to make him afraid of losing her and to win her affection in every way. A woman is trying to make her man jealous and instill fear in him. Look, I have a choice, they can steal me. This game is caused by the fear of losing a man. When it seems that a man has grown cold or too busy with his work, a woman begins to raise the alarm and tries to motivate a man, to reanimate the faded feelings, cause some bright emotions, jealousy, to wake up the hunter in him, to draw attention to herself by all means. Why doesn't it work? Because this game works great with 16-year-old teenagers or with male hunters who are attracted only to victims. As we discussed above, a female manipulator attracts male manipulators. And this is not a story about sincere love. And if your man is an adequate, adult person, he will quickly figure out your tricks and wish you luck and wave his hand. Because he needs a mature, adequate woman, not a girl who's afraid of losing a man and is trying to play and manipulate. Manipulation number three that annoys all men. You are so bad and I'm so good. How does it look? I sacrifice my own interests and hobbies, I give you everything and you, I should have listened to my mother and I chose you, I left my career because of you, I gave you children and you, how could you? Or a real man has to, if you love me you must, if I were dear to you, you would do things differently, I'm crying with despair, you do not change. How do you act? You don't understand me. And all of this is accompanied by tears, meaningful looks, pouty lips. Look how miserable I am. It is your fault. You did it all. That's how you're trying to cause guilt in your partner. When the man turns guilty, it becomes easier for you to control him and easier for you to get what you want from the lover. Why doesn't it work? It can work at first when a man will really try to rectify his guilt imposed by you when he still has feelings for you. But then a man just grows tired of being stressed all the time, being bad and guilty. You and your claims will just stick in his throat. He will quickly want to leave you alone. Because with the woman he loves, he just wants to rest, not to feel forever guilty and listen to your claims. Remember, grey methods bring a questionable victory in games with men. They can only temporarily satisfy your needs and desires. But in the long run, you must be aware that you will not build a strong family on manipulation. Manipulation kills trust and love. You cannot build a strong relationship on it. So to avoid ruining your relationship with your man, never use these types of manipulations again. If you want to work on yourself more seriously, if your main goal is to save your relationship or even get your ex back, I recommend you to try out my amazing strategy on restoring a real love relationship in 35 days. Sign up and join my free evening masterclass, where I'm gonna tell you what you need to do to make your man love you again just as before without any manipulations. This masterclass is for all women who want to return love and build a really healthy, harmonious, happy relationship 
with her man. And it's really possible with the help of your mind power. The link for the masterclass will be under this video, go ahead and click it. And also subscribe to my channel since it's very interesting here and I make a lot of videos about how you can build your love life using your mind power. Please subscribe and click the bell to be the first to hear about my new videos.